Juju Churchers, happy Saturday. I'm so excited that you joined me again today. I'm in my room and I'm quietly reading my Bible and doing my daily devotions. But if you watch that video, you would see that just a few minutes ago when I was downstairs trying to do my devotions, I was so distracted. Everything was so distracting. I was thirsty, I was hungry, I got a paper cut, my kids needed to talk to me. And you know what? None of those things by themselves are bad. But it was bad and the devil used them because he was trying to get my mind and my thoughts off of the Lord. He didn't want me to read the Bible and so he sent a bunch of distractions. And that is why it is so important that when we do devotions, we get into a quiet place, we pray, we ask God to speak to our heart, and we really listen because, hold on, let me read you. In 1 Kings 19, chapter, chapter 19, verse 11 and 12, let's see if, the God, if God talks really loud And he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind rent the mountains. And he break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. The Lord must be really boisterous and loud, right? Let's find out. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake? But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, wait for it, a still small voice. A still small voice, almost like a whisper. Wow. In Psalm 46.10, it also says, be still and know that I am God. So if we want to hear that still small voice in God's word talking to our hearts so that we can be better and grow closer to him, we have to be still too. And we have to listen carefully and we have to be where it's quiet and there's no distractions. All right, guys, I'm so excited that you joined me again, and I hope that it was really beneficial. It didn't take much time, but it's an important lesson for us to learn. We got to get quiet and hear God, all right? Okay, guys, I love you. I hope that you have a great Saturday, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in church and then again next Saturday. I'm pretty sure our devotions have something to do with Christmas lights. I'll see you soon. I love you.